Now, local football fans have expressed mixed reactions over Michael Olunga's move to newly promoted Chinese Super League club, Gingzhou Hengfeng Zichen FC, from Swedish top tier side U Gardens IF. Reports indicate that the Kenyan international crossed over to the Chinese Super League for about 470 million. Kenya shillings. The Harambe star striker is also reported to have turned down offers from Turkish side Galatasaray, Russia's CSK Moscow and Spanish club Sevilla before becoming the fourth foreign based player in the recently promoted side. Olunga was discovered by the Liberty Academy upon completing high school before joining Premier League side Tusk FC in 2013. He was then loaned to Thika United before joining Gormahia at the beginning of the 2015 season. It's good that he's making that foundation financially. Then he has a future in football because China is not a contract of 20 years. Whatever, whether two, four years, Olunga has a bright future. And to me, you look at Kenya today, most of our former players have died poor and miserable in the streets. Lakini pia mwenye ya kipata hiyo pesa, at least anaeza rudipia ukuchini ya eze kuna chati pia talents zingine because pia kuna talent hile nye inagru. Ndiyo at least pia onyo ukuchini wafike palipenye ya mefika. Ametengeneze at least njia, at least wale wengine wakiona motivated, steps zake. You must take risks. Anything you do, it's about taking risk. Yeah, but to me, I support it. As a player, I chance. We need funds. We need money to develop our, our things. It will depend with the way he will use it. If, it. if he will use it correctly, then it's okay. But if he will misuse it, then it might change his life. Mimi nasema atuwezi under China sasa hizi sababu pia ukiwa na wachezaji wengi sana wanaenda wanaenda China kumaanisha pia tuweze sema standard ya mpira ya China iko chini